so when you can't go on vacation due to COVID-19, you just enjoy having a day full of adventures. And our youngest son decided to get extensions a few weeks ago, so he's back to get them adjusted from a friend of ours, and he went shorter this time. And you can see the braid that they had to put in his hair to attach them. And then you can see a picture of how long they had been. He really enjoyed having the longer hair. Now he's gone to short. And now you get to see a picture of my two sons, our oldest Graham and our youngest Gavin. They love each other to pieces as brothers. Then we headed off to a thrift shop, Habitat for Humanity, which is about a half an hour from us. We decided to browse and see what we could find. So lots of goodies here. I always like browsing and seeing what they have for knickknacks and bric-a-brac and all that good stuff. I ended up getting a teapot that my husband insisted I get that had cupcakes all over it and also a canister set that you'll see later on pictures of it and it looked like something that my mother-in-law used to have on her counter so for sentimental reasons I wanted to scoop it up. Here are some pots. I love white enamel and they were a dollar each and I put them in my cart thinking I'll make planters out of them and then I ended up putting them back because I felt like I had stretched the budget a few extra dollars and I didn't want to do that. This yellow chair I fell in love with. I was looking for something for my living room and I sat down and tried it on for size. It was only $14. And again, I was staying in budget, so it wasn't an item I could pick up this time. I did like this blue color on this bookshelf, and it was just fun to look at. So I ended up getting two pictures. Our bedroom and upstairs bathroom has barns and pictures of Amish things so we picked those up and here's a picture of those canisters that I absolutely fell in love with. Then we headed off to Dollar Zone which is like a Dollar Tree but a little different and they do great on seasonal items which you can see and craft items. They have a Mod Podge of things. I could not believe Halloween was out but I ended up actually buying something for a Halloween outreach that we do. I always wear some type of a hat and you'll get to see a picture of me wearing it. So I ended up getting some tea biscuits to try out a recipe that my mother-in-law used to make and some other biscuits. I also found a mask for a dollar, some candies and some other goodies. Okay next stop a bed and breakfast that is local to us in a nearby town. They have a farmers market with local honey, vegetables fruits, scones, homemade goodies, and they also serve lunch on their outside porch. Here in New Jersey, we cannot do indoor dining as of yet, and we also um, are limited on lodging, so this bed and breakfast is surviving by having a farm market. So our day continues with taking our youngest son to youth group and he was having a ball. They had a beach party with hot dogs and bonfire and TikTok competitions and volleyball and all kinds of other fun stuff. Music 
So to end our evening, we decided to go to John Bon Jovi's kitchen, and it was wonderful. We had a delectable dinner. I had ribs, and my husband had a wrap, and we had some watermelon soup and some strawberry salad and a delicious dessert. The food was impeccable. The service was great. And to know that we're supporting a local community to help the homeless and to feed other people that cannot afford to feed themselves right now, it was a great support. We got a great dinner out of it, and it was a great donation on our part. I love the mission statement. So this might only be a one day adventure, but it was a little vacation for us, all wrapped up into one day, which we will have beautiful memories of for our entire family. Hope you enjoyed stopping by and visiting us on our one day adventure. <music>